Today in history. And of course, it's time for us to take a look back on what happened on this day in the past. That's right. We have two events to share with our listeners today. But of course, as always, here is a quiz question first. A form of written communication using computers and the Internet is called, number one, calligraphy, or number two, email. The question again, a form of written communication using computers and the Internet is called, number one, calligraphy, number two, email. If you know the answer, you can put it on our Bondi board or use your cell phone to text in pounder sharp 1045, and that will cost you 50 won to win a wireless mouse. Mm -hmm. As Steve just mentioned, we have two items to talk about about and here they are today in history in 1896 F Scott Fitzgerald was born and in 1974 the first public email service was launched Really, it dates all the way back to 1974. Yeah, that's right. Pretty surprising, huh? We'll talk about that in just a minute, but we begin today's journey to the past with the birth of one of the greatest and most influential writers of the 20th century in American literature. And this author's legacy has lived on through his best known work, The Great Gatsby. Of course, we're talking about F. Scott Fitzgerald. Mm -hmm. Now, a reflection of the so-called Roaring Twenties era, The Great Gatsby is a must-read classic and a steady international bestseller. Mm -hmm. And its popularity is far from fading away, as it has been adapted to ballet, stage productions, computer games, radio, opera, and at least five films, including last year's box office hit starring Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's a custom whirling song. Can anyone play that? Clips bring a cat. Someone wake you in. Of course, sir. Music, and then we can dance all night. He's a symphonic genius. He can play anything. Then I demand a chance. That makes it look so, so splendid. Will Don't you think old school? I have a man in England who buys me clothes. I've never seen anything like it. Something for the lady. Sends over a selection. Of <laughs> 네, 바로 자장면입니다. 그 디캐프리오가 2층에서 막그 스카프니 뭐를 막 집어 던지던 집어 던진다. Mm. 네, 그랬던 장면이었습니다. The Great Gatsby. Did you enjoy that film? I did actually. The one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. Mm. I I I liked it, but the soundtrack yeah. was a little too modern for me. Right. I think that was the idea. It was the idea. Yeah. yeah it just didn't work for me. But okay. that being said, it can work. Remember the other uh, Leonardo DiCaprio adaptation was Romeo and Juliet, uh -huh. where they made that quite modern. Mm. And the soundtrack for that was modern. Right. That worked for me. But for some reason, I just didn't mm. like the music for uh, for uh, this particular the film. Mm. The Great Gatsby. But we always talk about Leonardo DiCaprio from that film. Yeah. How about Tobey Maguire? Yeah, he was in that movie as well. Well, oh, God, I yeah. so bad for him. <laughs> well, when you're standing next to Leo, you, te you tend to be in the shadows, <laughs> right? Well, of course, Fitzgerald, he also uh, authored several other stories, also adapted to the big screen, actually, even The Curious Case of Benjamin Button with uh -huh. Brad Pitt. Wow. Okay, well, certainly Fitzgerald soon became a pillar in contemporary American literature and language. That's right. And from the literary uh, front, we now go to the digital world, where another pillar and crucial part in our lives was launched today, mm -hmm. but probably back further than we realized. I know. And that was the world's first public email service, which was launched on this day in 1974 by... CompuServe, mm -hmm. a pioneer online commercial service company in the U.S. And some of the services that CompuServe offered was, for the first time, internet access through the so-called micronet. Micronet. Mm -hmm. ah. And included in this micronet service was the first ever public email service in history, making the beginning of present-day cyber world. Unbelievable, huh? Uh, what, what would, it's 1974, but what would have been your guess? 
If I just asked you, when do you ah, think email was created? At least somewhere in the uh, 80s. I would have guessed that too. Uh, maybe 86 or 87, right. something like right. that. Yeah. Oh. Well, speaking of emails, do you know the name of the symbol that we use in emails? Generally, we, f we refer to it as the at mm. symbol, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact is, there is no name for it in English. Ah, 원래. 그렇죠. 그 A, a with a circle around it. Right. right. 우리 저거 yeah. 골뱅이라고 불렀는데. Yeah, that's right. And in English we say at, but in really there's no name for it at all. <웃음> 네. 다른 어느 나라에서는 저걸 또 뭐라고 부른다고 그러더라. 무슨 뭐 다른 그, 그 refer 하는 방법이 다 다르대요. 약간씩은. Yeah. You gotta say something though, right? 그러니까. Otherwise you just say Steve Gmail. In the, in the, in the small circle. <웃음> yeah, <right. 그렇죠. 웃음> All right. So, so before we wrap up, let's check out today's quiz question. The question was, a form of written communication using computers and the internet is called number two, email. That's it for today in history. We return tomorrow with more from the past.